Hello everyone, my name is Drake. Welcome to uh, my channel. Today we are going to be playing Craft the World. Well, what is Craft the World? Well, Craft the World is a side-scrolling building survival game. You uh, take control over little dwarves. You have them build, you have them craft, you have them dig and survive the world that they're in. Now the main goal of the main goal of craft the world the starting campaign is to get through each world you got four levels and you need to go through each level to end the game now the first level that you start on is the land of new hope what you do is that uh, you build up until you're able to find and repair a portal once you repair that portal you click on that portal and you are moved to the next world so let's go ahead and start this world okay congratulations we did it we opened an ancient portal to this new world that there's your uh, tutorial here unfortunately we currently only have enough power to send one dwarf Look around and start building your outpost. No one knows how dangerous it might be in this place. Open your journal to see the instructions we've prepared for you. Okay, this here is your uh, journal right down here. You click on that. Pay attention to your tasks. Complete them to earn rewards. Complete the shelter. What you need to do, you need to uh, dig a hole or build build yourself a uh, a shelter and for it to be a shelter you have to place this little guy inside your shelter which it should have given you one and dig a tunnel all you have to do is just dig out three pieces of dirt and you get that one done you get 10 experience once you fill up your experience bar which is up here to the far right top right you will get another dwarf that number right there that's how many drawers you have. Or that's how many drawers you're allowed to have. Over here to the left, where's the picture of your dwarf, you have that number one. That's how many dwarves you have. Okay, let's go ahead and cut down a tree. Okay, that's my first objective that we'll be able to uh, complete here real quick. Switch to the bestiality tab. Okay. Bestiality. Now this is where all your bestialities are. Here you will record all of the creatures you met in this new world. Now I'm not going to go through all of them, but I have 58 pages. I, I have played this quite a bit, so I have unlocked every one of the uh, bestialities. So let's go ahead and close this. Enough instructions, so let's get started. Cut down a few trees to get some resources. Click the bottom of the nearest tree. Okay, now with this, you know, with the wheel, you can scroll in and out. You can scroll all the way out, or you can scroll quite a, quite a ways in. I like playing with it right about there. Okay. This is how you cut down a tree. Cut down a few of them here. Okay, great job. Now wait for the resources to be carried to the stockpile. Okay, see how I got experience up there? Once I reach number two, that will get me, get myself a new drawer. We now I have enough resources to build some necessary tools. Please open the crafting dialog by pressing the craft button. That's down here. You got equipment, you got crafts. Equipment right here. Okay, this is your workshop where you can create various items and tools with resources you have. Okay. On the left, you can see the resources in your stockpile. Let's craft some tools for our drawers. But first, let's craft a nice strong club. Switch to the armory tab. This here is the armory tab right here. This here is all the 
items you can create. Click on the slot with the club scroll to see its recipe. That's this right here. And that's the recipe for your club. You need two pieces of wood to craft a club. Switch to the first resource tab where you can find the piece of wood you need. Go back here. Drag a piece of wood from the stack pile to the slot on the crafting table. You just go right there, right there. All right, you now have all the resources you need. Press the craft button. That's right there. We have crafted a club, and now I'm level two. I should get another dwarf. Excellent, our power is growing. You reached the next level and can now take in more settlers. At last, later you can craft other tools and items. For now, let's equip somebody with this new club. Now we'll show you something that you know it does not tell you how to do. That's how to disassemble. Okay, got those right there. That's what you get for uh, coming level two. If you uh, grab something out of your inventory and you place it down here, you get the option to deconstruct it. When you deconstruct it, you get items like bones and wood. And whatever the uh, item is made out of, that's what you can gain. Okay. Level up. You get a new dwarf. You get the totem. And get some bones. And there's my new dwarf. Come in here. There's my totem that I got for leveling up. Here's some needles that I... I do believe I got that for leveling up. And here's the bones that I got from disassembling the signs that you see me disassemble a while ago. Well, let's go ahead and... Oh, they picked up something else. That there is food. After a while, they will start getting hungry and will be wanting food. So you'll be having to craft yourself a, a table. Then you place the food on top of the table for your dwarves to eat. Okay, grab another club there since I got two. As you equip their weapons and armor, you go down here to equip, and here we go. Okay, you can either grab it and drag it to the inventory, or you can just double click. There you go. Click the disc with the time on it to change the game speed. Okay, that's up here. This here, if you click on it, you can speed up time, or you can just leave it as it is. Now, I don't know about you, but what I like doing is I like grabbing their hats, removing their hats. That way I can uh, go into crafting menu, go here, and I can deconstruct their hats and get more material. I do advise, you know, that you would, uh, you know, uh, take care of their, uh, equipment and deconstructing them then that way you know you've got more materials to craft more useful items i'm going to start right here i'm going to dig down down now you can either click which is the uh the left mouse button which will uh click on what needs to be uh done or with the uh, the right mouse key, if you click it, then hold down and drag your mouse, you can just queue out a, a long line of things. You can take it and just like that. There you go. Sure. <laughs> yeah, if they go like that, when they have the red X, it means that they cannot dig that or they cannot reach that point. Now I'm going to go in here and remove this. That's what I got from the uh, the hat earlier that I disassembled. I'll get some stone, get some resin. 
Now the stones are going to be using to uh, create a pickaxe, which I'm going to need two stones and wood. The axe, I'm going to need two stones and two wood. Now what I like doing is to help out with this. Is Once they get some dirt, I like uh, replacing this. Oh, I got leveled up. Oh, I dig a tunnel. Okay. I dug out three uh, squares. That means I dug a tunnel. What I like doing with dirt is I like to uh, replacing the back stone here with dirt. And that way I got stone to uh, do some crafting. Let's set my drawers. Dig this out. There they go. Let's see what can I craft? There's some dirt right there. I like bringing the dirt down here. Am I able to craft? Yes, a ladder. It's good to uh, craft a couple of ladders or a few ladders. Now this here, this handle here, if you click on that, you can queue up, you know, quite a few. You can one times, ten times, or uh, fifty times than what you can, you know, singly. I am going to be crafting ten. There we go. There we go. I was able to level up. Go to the tech tree. This here is your tech tree. You're able to see all the things that you're able to able to build and everything that you need to work up to. Here's uh, if you hover over the at the lock, it will tell you, you know what you need to do to uh, unlock this. Do I like each one? Right here, you know, I will need to be level three, so I need to get level three so I can unlock this and get torches and magic light. Magic light can be helpful. This here, I can only unlock this unless I level this all the way up. And this here is your level. Down here's your bar, your uh, progress bar. It tells you uh, or shows you how much you need or how much you've got gained. There we go. Got my ladders here. Go up here and place some down some ladders. to be able to uh, get in and out of the, uh, the hole a little bit easier. Replace stone. Replace stone. Replace stone. And replace stone. This way I got more stone to uh, more stone to craft. Apples. Apples will be for a uh, crafting recipe later. I can't wait until they get a uh, craft recipe for the uh, pine cones. For pine cones is that's it. I mean, there's no um, crafting recipe that asks for pine cones or anything like that, and they can stack up quite a bit, and you cannot disassemble them. That nope, did not want to do that. And here we go. Some more crafting recipes. Just got the unlocking. You got your wood armor. I need leaves and rope. Which I don't have rope yet. I don't have the uh, recipe for rope yet. Wooden shield. Need nails. Need iron for nails. But here we go. Let's go ahead and craft us a uh, pickaxe. Whoops, I need to grab wood, not dirt. <laughs> there we go. Craft a pickaxe. And craft a stone. If you've seen what I just got there doing there, if you don't know where these are located at, up here, all you have to do is just click there and it will automatically take you to the spot where they can be found. So let's craft us a uh, an axe. There we go. 
now for them to be able to use uh, what do we have here yeah i need wool i need to go and get me some sheep i either uh well for now i gotta kill sheep for wool okay close that out and eating um weapons or armor or tools that you craft before your drawers can use them you're gonna have to uh you have to give it to them. You have to equip it. If they don't equip it, they don't use it. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, there it is. Grab that. We're going to craft one of those, but we're going to be needing a... Uh, lid for our shelter or a hatch there we go craft one of those place that up there place that right there later on i'll be uh, getting a recipe where i can build a back wall Make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, I'll go place that right there. That way we got ourselves a house. Okay, there we go. We got we leveled up. So we're gonna be getting another dwarf. One piece of wood and one cone. Okay, these are our books, craft crafting books or class books. You can uh, or skill books. You can uh, use these to either teach your dwarf a skill or increase the skill that they already have. Grab that, grab that. And now I'll show you here real quick. I've got another dwarf, which is a, another female. To uh, obtain the female dwarves, you will have to get the uh, the DLC. The uh, DLCs, and they're not that much. But uh, if you want, like, uh, dwarves and more uh, items for your uh, your world or your uh, your game, you will have to, uh, or you will need to get the, uh, the the DLC. Okay, crafts. Let's see what we unlocked, which is the, uh, the torches and the magic light. Let's go down here and I'll show you what you do with your books. You got the climbing book and you got a hunter's book. Let's see what we got right here. Let's go ahead and take her hat. I'll be giving her a uh, protective helmet here pretty soon. Climber and a hunter. Do we have any climbers or hunters? Nope, we got two carpenters and a miner. Since we got a miner, I would like to uh, give her the... Uh, the climbing skill, and that way she's able to mine and climb through all the uh, the dirt a little bit faster. And they are able to climb ladders faster and descend them faster. Extremely faster. With the Hunter's Book, I like giving the Hunter's Book to uh, an archer. And if I don't have an archer, I like turning one into an archer. Now, for my main goal right now, plan is just to, uh, I'm going to try and keep my videos around 30 minutes long. i got a timer set. It should be going off anytime, sometime soon. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be uh, try making a video about every other day. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. I got water you know, on each side of my uh, my dwarves here. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to wait until I'm able to uh, get something like a uh, a workbench. Okay, there we go. Let's craft some uh, to torches here, which is wood and resin. Because you need light. 
There we go. I like placing these on the last bar right here. And go down here. Place the torch there. To help keep things down, I like placing them six blocks apart. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. Placing them six blocks apart helps keep uh, stuff like, you know, that right there, which is leaves. And these right here, which are vines. You know what they kind of remind me of? Do you remember the old uh, Rick Moranis' uh, little house of horror? There you go. That's what they kind of remind me of. And here we go. We got some iron. Oh, this, this close. All right. That is good. They're having problems right there. The ladder there. Go ahead and take that out. I don't want to go too far. Because sometimes if you um, take that out where there's an opening right there, this pure wood declares that it is not a house. It's destroyed. Okay, there we go. Let's craft some more. Uh... Okay, those coins right there is used for the shop. Show you the shop real quick. So over here. Nope, it's not over here. It's always close by. Yep, there it is. That there's your shop. You enter the shop, and this is all the things you can buy with gold. Like right now, all I can afford is just you know small materials like wood, leaves, iron, coal, stone, uh, sand, dirt. That's all I can really afford right now. Just small one tier items. There we go. Okay, you know, come on back over here. Let's get a torch down right there. Get that there. There we go. Got iron. Let's go ahead and uh, craft. Uh, okay, how many do we have? We got three dwarves. I'm gonna be needing two. One, two. Uh, we got, we leveled up on the tech tree. Let's go to the tech tree, see what we got. And we opened up beds, wooden table, and wooden chairs. If you like, you can just click on that, and it shows right there how, how to make them. So I'm going to be needing leaves. Okay, one, two. Need some wood. One, two. Three, there we go. One, two, three. There we go. That there. Let's get them some beds. And it's good to give them some beds. That way, if they ever get injured, they're able to sleep. And if they sleep, they heal up. Okay, craft this. Uh, See if we can craft some, uh, we need an axe. We're going to craft only one axe right now. Let's equip those. Okay. There's one. There's one. Okay, we already got an axe. Give her an axe. Let's see about, uh, where's my new dwarf? Brody, she's a uh, minor climber. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can craft them some helmets. Yep, we can craft them some helmets. Let's give them some helmets. We're going to craft one for right now. There we go. Should get... There we go. Yep, task complete. Make equipment. Gotta make sure that they are protected. And I always want to uh, check to see what your uh, what you need to be doing here. Collect stone. I got six ten. Buy more iron. Three of ten. Okay, I need to cut down some more trees. Find some more iron. More stone.
Okay, need to uh, get all this leveled up and done. I need to uh, complete each of these uh, uh, technology trees here. Okay, we're going to be working on that. Okay. So let's craft. Okay. Let's equip. Give her a club because we're going to be needing protection for the... Uh, Soon we're going to be getting attacked, which will be some goblins. Let's go ahead and use a piece of dirt there and take that out. Place that there. Place that there. Oh. I can't do that yet. Now, if you ever want to, want to, want to you can always, you, know, you can like click on dwarf, select dwarf, and down here, this here will pop up. You can either control them, you can equip them, you can tell them to go eat, or you can tell them to go rest. And if you take control over them, you will be able to uh, make them do whatever you want to, like this. There we go. I took control. I can move her around however I want. I can do whatever I want. There we go. And while you got control of her, if you want George to dig where you're not digging, just right click. There you go. And I found more. That's objective that I just got done completing or a task. There we go. Okay, now I leveled up to four. Now that I leveled up to four, you see this skull that just got them popping up? Well, evil forces have found us again. Prepare to beat back a wave of monsters. Now, after a while, 48 minutes, 21 seconds, that will fill up. And whenever that fill up, you will get attacked. And uh, you will have to repel the attack and hopefully survive. So now I've got 48 minutes, 21 seconds. To get my drawers ready. Okay, I gotta do that, release her. If you click somewhere else, there you go. Okay, one population. Okay. It's another male drawer. Equip. The hat. Give him that. Okay, she needs an axe. Okay. Let's see here. Can I do I have any wood? Yes, but I need stone, but I'm going to be needing to get some more wood here, so here we go. You really don't have to worry about them. I mean, they're more of a nuisance than anything else, but if you want to, you can attack them. I just let them go. All they do is they just toss your items out of the, uh, the storage here. That's all they do. They don't attack you. They don't really cause you any problems. Where are these dangerous creatures lives in tall trees. George will attack enemies on their own. He was talking about the, uh, the little critter that just got the falling out of that tree there. Okay, here we go. Get that last piece of ore right there. Let's see here. And right here is your uh, spot where you can open up your technology tree to see what you can make. I'm gonna be make. Actually, I'll be using my uh, magic light. Okay, here we go. There it is, magic light. Pull it down here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this magic light. Just randomly place it anywhere. That's what it does. It just lights it up, and you'll be able to see a little bit better. I did that so I can uh, complete that task. Open up something else on the technology tree, which is iron working. We need iron working to to craft nails, locks, and pots. Pots is uh, for uh, some uh, cooking. That's for your doors to lock your doors, and that there is for many other things like uh, armor and more expensive stuff. Well, that is my timer. That is 30 minutes. Let me uh, stop that. 
Okay. Stop that. Turn that off. Okay. Well, for right now, that's it. Whenever we get back, I will. Uh, we will pick up where we have left off. If you uh, like this video, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And I will catch you again on the uh, next movie or next video. <laughs> Peace out.